From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good evening. I'm student meteorologist Frank Arjun with your Wednesday evening forecast. We take a live look at Beaver Stadium right now, 64 and mostly cloudy, but at least it's warm, right? Yesterday we had the 70s and some, today it's 60s and cloudy, but at least it's warm. What feels like temperatures of 64, dew point of 52, visibility of 10 miles and winds that which are calm right now. However, this will change as we head into tomorrow, Friday, and into the weekend. Our weather headlines, warm temperatures, like I said, 70s and 60s. It feels good, right? These will be dropping tomorrow as the rain returns. The wind returns this weekend with possibly wind gusts into the upper 30s, low 40s. Our high temperatures so far in Pennsylvania, 64 in State College, 64 Bradford, 65 in Pittsburgh. The entire state in the 60s, with the exception for Philadelphia, which broke into the 70s today at 74. Harrisburg, Allentown, close at 69. Scranton at 67. And these temperatures are above average from where they usually are. If you look at the high temperature departure from average, 6 degrees above in State College, 11 degrees above in Bradford. Pittsburgh, you're 5 degrees. Here, you're 9. Philadelphia, you're 11 degrees above average where you usually are. Harrisburg, 8. Allentown and Scranton, 9. And this is a theme over the next 6 to 10 days for two-thirds of the eastern seaboard. With a sweet spot down here in Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana, and as you get farther west into the western one-third part of the country, it will get cooler. But most of the country will be seeing higher than average temperatures over the next six to ten days. If we look at our radar and satellite right now for Pennsylvania, we have some light to moderate rain moving its way north of Scranton into upstate New York. It was in Williamstown earlier, moving out. And if you head more west, we have some showers lingering around Franklin, Bradford, south of Erie, which may have an impact in the State College uh, area tonight as we may see some showers. But our main focus of today, really, is a severe threat down here in Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi. Uh, severe weather, rain, heavy rain, winds, tornado, hail. This, will all, this threat will all be moving into the Ohio River Valley tomorrow in southeastern parts of the United States, which I'll be timing out for you right now. Future weather, Thursday at 5.30 a.m. We have rain for most of the state. And as we continue on into Thursday, we, see, we start to see these thunderstorms pop up, possibly severe. And as this will continue throughout Thursday, make its way through, and then another batch Thursday night into Friday. This is at 6 a.m. Line of thunderstorms and heavy rain in Williamsport, Harrisburg, Scranton. You'll be getting it in a couple hours. But th there is a severe threat tomorrow, so make sure you, you heed warnings. You take precautions if needed. And like I said, here's the severe weather outlook right here. Enhanced risk out here in eastern uh, Ohio, northwestern uh, parts of West Virginia. Slight risk for Ohio, western Pennsylvania, northern Kentucky, and down here in the south, southern, southeastern Georgia and northern Florida as well. I spoke of winds. Right now we're calm in State College, 8 in Dubois and 9 in Bradford. However, this will change as we look at our future wind gusts from the GFS. Wind gusts, 36, 42, most of the state into 30s and 40s wind gusts as we head into Friday, Friday night, Thursday, Thursday night into Friday morning. And as you get closer down here, filled up, you're 41, but as you get closer to the shore, possibly into the 50s as well. Right now, here's our future weather past, past Friday, Saturday at 6.30 a.m., see some rain lingering, possibly some snow and mix if it gets cold enough. Sunday, we see, Saturday at 3.30, we start to see a break from the rain. Sunday morning, break from the rain. Some clouds and some rain start to build in as we get into Sunday at 5 p.m. Should be quick, should be light, should not damper any weekend problems, to be honest. Monday, 10.30, see some clouds in the western part of Pennsylvania, eastern parts and central parts, pretty much clear. If we look at our tonight in State College, 56 in showers with southwest winds and that are calm. But like I said, this will change tomorrow. State College, you're at 66 with thunderstorms. Southeast winds at 10 15, gusts possibly in the 30s. And if you look at our seven day outlook, tomorrow, like I said, thunderstorm 66, low of 50. Friday, as this storm system starts to move out, we have showers 59 and low of 41. Saturday, mostly sunny, windy, 57 degrees and 42 degrees as our low. And like I said, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday morning, start to warm up a little bit. Few clouds, partly cloudy, partly cloudy. 70, 73 and 69 degrees, it will be warmer, it will feel good, so get outside, but tomorrow, thunderstorms are possible, which means you, if you get any watches or warning, make sure to take precaution, take any steps necessary to keep you and your family safe, if need be. I'm Student Meteorologist Frank R. Joan with your Wednesday evening forecast. Have a great rest of your day.